How's it going guys? Interesting video today. We're going to touch on a few different topics, some of which are to do with some new leaks that have come out over the past few days since the release of the latest update. Some new body kits have potentially been found within the files that are not released yet, Formula One cars and a few other bits as well. Let's jump straight to it. Firstly though, I'm just quickly announcing the winners of the latest JDM car pack giveaway. Here are five winners on screen right now. I have messaged them all on Xbox. If they do not reply, which happens a lot, I will pick more more people so make sure to keep commenting your gamer tag stay subscribed and you might win next we're always giving away car pack codes around here so yes the latest update just to recap is obviously horizon cars and coffee here's the full change log we do actually now have the full bugs and fixes list that we didn't have in the previous video so this is something i haven't shown yet here is the full bugs and fixes there's not really that much have a pause and a read if you want now let's get on to the exciting stuff now the first thing i'm going to quickly show you is the toyota g gr86 that was released in august i think last year so it's quite old now this car has been spotted in the latest let's go live stream with a spoiler that doesn't exist now this is believed to be a sard spoiler these guys make body kits obviously one for the gr86 and it appears to at least be in the game in some form however if you were to try and apply this to yourself you can't it's not usable in the game but it's obviously in the game because they've shown us accidentally in the let's go stream here so is this a hint that more body kits are to come more customization is to come maybe just for the gr86 i'm not sure what we do know is there's obviously a body kit or at least a wing for the gr86 in the files not being used and there's more. After the most recent update in the files, they added the Nissan Stagia. I'm sure you're aware of that by now. However, what's interesting is there are more body kits and more front bumpers for this Stagia than we can actually use. We know that we can put the R34 front bumper on the Stagia, we know that. However, Nissan Stagia actually has the full Altec kit in the files. There is actually even a second Altec front bumper variation as well. This is from TGR55 over on GT Planet as usual. There are different types of front bumpers available for this particular body kit model for this car. The grey one we can see here, that is the version that is in the game. Again, it makes you wonder why is this in the files but not available to us? Is it coming in a future update, a body kit update? We'll touch on that in a second. Or is there some kind of problem? A licensing problem perhaps now certain naughty modders have actually managed to mod these body kits onto the nissan stagia in the game right now just to prove that it is a thing and um, we can see what it looks like there and we can see that there are actually two different types of the altec front bumper in the files we can see there's only a very small difference it's kind of the lights and where the number plate goes is the only difference there um, kelpd kindly said that these are the 1997 and the 1998 stagia 260 rs altec bumpers that is the difference so yeah not only is there a body kit for the gr86 in the files that's not being used there is also for this brand new nissan stagia as well and it isn't the only one you may remember a few months ago now i think it is now we discovered that the hyundai kona and the i30 also have body kits that are not usable in the game they're just in the files modders have obviously managed to enable these but as normal folk who don't mod can't do it so it's interesting it makes you wonder if all of these body kits have had to be held back because of licensing issues if they change their mind if they were never going to be considered to begin with or they are being collected for a potential body kit update in the future i don't know it's a certain possibility but just letting you guys know that those are in the files it's frustrating that we can't use them though more leaks now we're not on about body kits anymore we're actually kind of on about cars now straight away take all this with a grain of salt i have no doubts that this is true that these are found in the files however doesn't mean we're going to get them in the game and once you see what cars have actually been leaked you'll see why they really probably aren't coming to horizon 5 maybe motorsport I don't know, let me show you. KelPD took another look at the suspension structure file in the Horizon 5 directory and found a few more cars that he previously missed out on. Let me talk through them now. The 2012 Ferrari F2012, that's a Formula 1 car. 2012 McLaren MP4 27, Formula 1 car. The 2013 Honda Fit, that's definitely not a Formula 1 car. The 2012 Subaru Impreza WRX STI. However, it's not a normal WRX STI, it's a H6 SEMA version. That's what it says in the text string. Now, I tried to Google this and look a little bit into it. This seems to be a very exclusive variant of the WRX STI that's got a custom engine in it. Couldn't find, couldn't really find any definitive photos of that car 
definitely that car, but this is what it's going to be based on. Maybe a fancy version of that. The next one is the 2013 McLaren MP4-28. That's another F1 car. The 1966 Ferrari 312, another F1 car. The 2011 Ford number 43 Fiesta RS WRC. Lots of people excited for that. The Ford Rally Cost from 2012, the 2014 Holden Sandman, and the 1997 Toyota Number One Trophy Truck. Now, it's a very bizarre selection of cars there. Some Formula One cars, some rally cars, just bits and bobs, really. Now, these have only been spotted in sort of a texturing file in the suspension structure, but it does prove that at some point this has been written and input into the files by someone over at the Forza team. Now, is it because these cars are coming to Forza Horizon 5? Probably not, but it's a maybe. Most of these cars seem more, seems to make more sense for Forza Motorsport. I can definitely see the Formula 1 cars coming to Ford and Motorsport. Forza Horizon 5, however, not so sure. They've been found in the Forza Horizon 5 files, so we can of course consider it. He also mentions a bit further down this post that the Autec brand is also mentioned in the manufacturers in motorsport, which also makes the leak that we just spoke about earlier in Nissan Stadia body kits a little bit more credible. What we can do is at least add those cars to the leaked car list. Now this leaked car list is getting very large nowadays. It's It's been a while since we've added anything to it, but now we have, and as you can see, it is massive there's not really any room for me to add any more cars to this now but we can at least add it to the list and if we had a leaked customization list we'd also have tons of body kits on there as well maybe a body kit update is coming now that's pretty much it that is the full list of leaks that has happened in the past few days some interesting stuff there i'm sure most of it we can maybe look forward to seeing in motorsport instead but we have seen now that there's definitely a correlation with what they add to motorsport and horizon they try to add them to each other so maybe we'll get some exciting stuff in horizon 5 as well now one last thing to quickly touch on that i wanted to show and that's just some statistics that nuclear bomb has put together in regard to all of the cars that have been added to horizon 5 since launch as of now, there's a total of 334 cars added to the game. That is mental. 106 have been new to Ford, the cars that have been paid for. 20 have been from expansions, 42 from the car pass, 44 from car packs, and 100 new to Forza cars have been free. That's a number I think we should all focus on. Since launch, yes, there have been loads of car packs and paid cars, but there's also been 100 new to Forza cars that have been free. I think that's pretty good. 128 cars have returned from prior games, eight of which we've had to pay for, mm. 120 of which were free. So yeah, I know we all don't like returning cars, but pretty much all of them have been for free. So whatever. Little fun fact at the bottom, Forza Horizon 5 has received more new to Forza cars since launch than Need for Speed Unbound has cars in total very interesting the next update is high performance dailies we're going to touch more on that in a few weeks when the update is closer maybe some of the recent leaks have something to do with that we'll touch on that in that video leave a like if you enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all later